Hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture of our SwiftUI Crash Course series. And today we are going to talk about pickers in SwiftUI. Pickers become particularly useful when we have a predefined set of options and we want the user to choose any of the available options. For example, let's say we want to ask the user to choose their birthday month. So there are only 12 months. So instead of asking the user to input the month in a text field, we can prompt them to select the month using pickers. So this is just one of the uh, many applications of picker and today we will be learning how to implement pickers using an example involving fruits. So we will provide the option for the user to select their favorite fruit from a list of fruits. So uh, let's jump right into the code. So here on the screen you can see I have a picker view and just some template code. So we'll be using enum to create our list of fruits. And inside the cases, we will provide the fruit names like mango, banana, apple, pineapple, orange, and grapes. All right, that's it. And we will make the type as string. And now here, we will remove this text and add a list. We are using list so that uh, if we add a picker, we don't want to show it inside the center of the screen. We want it to be on the top uh, because list always starts from the top. So that's why we are using list. And inside this, we'll just add picker. And here you can see we have a title, selection and content. So we'll select this. For title, we'll say fruit picker. Favorite, pick your favorite fruit. For selection, let's just quickly create a state variable. And by default, we want mango to be selected. And inside the content, for the, uh, let's just pass the selection here. So we'll, because it is asking for a binding variable, so we'll use dollar and selected fruit. And for the content, here inside this picker, because we have a set of options that we want the user to choose, for showing all the options, let's use for each. So we have already discussed how we can use for each in our previous videos. If you haven't seen it yet, I will provide the link on the top right on the I button. If you are not familiar with how to use for each, you can just go and visit the lecture and come back to this one. All right. For those of you who already know, let's continue. So inside the for each, we need to pass the enum here and all the cases of the enum. So we'll use fruits dot all cases. For using this all cases, this actually creates the array of all the options, all the cases that fruits has. So for using all cases, we will have to make it conform to case iterable. And for the ID, we'll just pass self. So now let's just open the braces for for each and we can capture the fruit. And let's show this fruit inside a text element. All right, the canvas is reloading and you can see that we have a pick your favorite fruit, which is the title which we passed here and then we have a mango and then there is a list of options that we can select from and you can see whenever we are tapping on the option the value is getting updated here so this selected fruit holds the value whichever we select from here that value gets stored inside the selected fruit variable and this for each is responsible for showing this list all right so this is how easy it is to add a picker in SwiftUI. Other than that, there are different different options to change the picker style. Like currently you can see that uh, this is showing as a drop down as a menu. Let's see what different picker styles we have. So here we can add picker modifier, picker style modifier. And inside the style, let's see what two options we have. So one is automatic. Let's choose this one first. And this is the default one. So we were getting this previously. 
and automatic is same. Then we have N line. If we select N line, then you can see all the options are available here only. And we can select from any of these options. Now let's see the third one, which is menu. We were seeing the same previously too. So it opens a menu and then you can select from it. And then we have navigation link segmented and B. Let's see segmented first. If we select segmented, you can see that we have different segments here and we can choose any of them. Segmented is not much useful if you have lots of data. So use segmented only when you have only two or three or max five elements. Let's see the next one, which is wheel. So this was previously the default one in UI kit before iOS 13. If you are coming from UI kit, you might already have seen this. And it gives a nice sound when you scroll through it. Now let's see the next one, which is uh, navigation link. So for using navigation link, we will have to wrap this list inside a navigation stack. So let's quickly do it. Now that we have moved our code inside a navigation stack, once I click on this pick your favorite fruit, you will see that it is opening another screen and here it is giving us all the options and if we select any of this, the option that we selected is visible here. I fell in love with this when I saw this option because Swift UI has made it pretty easy to uh, pick any elements using this navigation link. So I personally like this a lot. So this was it. I just wanted to discuss these picker styles. I hope you understood how to use pickers in Swift UI. And in our next video, we'll be seeing how we can use date picker as well as color picker in Swift UI. So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.